The biggest change was the basically the invention of the clarinet. Composers had already written a lot of music for oboe and flute and bassoon and strings, of course. And so with the, the invention of a new instrument, although it was a little bit slow to kind of um, get traction, if you like, uh, it was eventually it became much loved by lots of composers. We could say that Mozart's Kegelstadt trio for clarinet, viola and piano was um, the work that announced the clarinet or, or solidified it in people's affections. But it was capable already then of a tremendous range of um, emotions and uh, dynamics and uh, even just you know fundamental range of notes from low to high and it had different qualities in different registers. Um, it's also I would argue the instrument closest to the human voice and of course opera was very popular during the classical period Mozart's operas of course um, and so in that sense I think it it was something that audiences sought and, and something that composers sought to express um, music without a narrative, but in a very human way.